White Saturday had completed their day's training. All the crew had departed for home when a call came into radio room from a yacht that was running aground at the entrance to the bar. Lee, our deputy commander, was on radio room duty and watching the drama unfold on our high-res screens overlooking the river entrance. He immediately recalled the crew. Some of them could not get back in time, but we had sufficient members in reserve that could attend. The tide was rising, so that by the time we reached the bar the yacht had managed to get through. However the trip was not wasted as shortly afterwards radio advised our vessel that a small half-cabin had engine failure in Malulabar Bay and required immediate assistance. We did not have an accurate position. So time was wasted in searching for the distressed vessel. This boat had five young persons on board. Although drifting, they were sufficiently distant from any hazards to be out of imminent danger, but by the time we reached them they were beginning to suffer from hypothermia as the winds, waves and spray action made for unpleasant and exposed conditions. Crossing the bar has become treacherous in the last few weeks. The channel no longer follows the leading lines, and even the dog leg that local boaties are familiar with is becoming hazardous at low water and at almost all states of the tide for deep draft vessels. There have been several groundings recently and the local fishermen, coast guard and other local boat users are becoming increasingly vocal about the dangers that they face. Alright, we've got them, continue on. <laughs> 